Hey, what's up YouTube? Hopefully you can hear me over the wind. Decided that I'm gonna start doing some how-to style videos and, and tracking what I'm doing to my vehicles. This is my Volvo C30, I also have a Ford F-150, and I've got this right now on uh, BC Racing coilovers. I got the IPD skid plate, it's IPD tuned, k and intake. Don't have a downpipe yet, don't have an exhaust yet. Um, what else? I added a Rhino rack here, and I also did a Morimoto FXR HID projector, ah, HID projector conversion, if I can learn how to talk. And um, I may go into a little bit more detail on that in another video, but today, because this is my daily driver, um, I'm going to be adding a laptop mount to the uh, passenger seat area. I've been looking for quite a while for a good laptop mount that's going to be easily stored for when my wife is riding in the car with me or somebody else and also needed a um, ne needed it to be secure for when I'm driving around that way right now I'm just setting my laptop in the front seat and it, it can slide around or slide off if I have to hit my brakes hard or whatever and I just want my laptop to be secure so I can monitor what it's doing as I'm driving around town doing what I need to do for work. So without further ado, I'm going to actually clean up the mess from my last project in the garage, which was a lot of maintenance on this CV axles, uh, sway bar end links, oil change, setting the right height on the new coilovers, etc. So I'm gonna do that and then we'll uh, get to the install of the laptop mount. And then today, this is what I am installing. Uh, it's the Manfrotto, what was it again? The Magic Arm Kit. Basically, it's uh, it's actually for camera lighting, but with a couple modifications, I should be able to set this in my car so it sits, like if I'm sitting in the passenger seat, it'll sit on the right-hand side of, or left-hand side, excuse me, of the passenger seat, and then I set my laptop where it needs to go, lock that, and everything stays in place nice and solid. This is support about 22 pounds, according to the literature, which is in another language. Um, they had a conversion on the outside of the box, and uh, that should do just fine for holding a laptop. And I'm going to use this, which is a, another piece of lighting, camera lighting equipment. It's a Kupo wall plate stud. Um, you'd be using this to actually hold the platform that the laptop will attach to. All right, so what the plan is, is to take this piece of, well, I might have to go get a similar piece that's a little bit thicker because this is pretty thin and flimsy. Basically attach it to this bolt down here that will allow me to mount this to that, and then this will bend down a little bit there, and the arm can sit right about like that and hold my laptop in place. And of course I just realized why I'm a bit of a hoarder when it comes to things. I just found this piece of metal here that uh, was from another project for a motorcycle that I no longer own. So what I'm going to do is clean this up a little bit take a couple quick measurements and uh, I'm actually going to use this because it's thicker and uh, it already has a bend in it so it will sit roughly like this in the uh, down below and that gets me up and out of the way of that keeps me out of the way of the sliding mechanism of the seat because I, I can't be interfering with that and it also um, gives me a good, nice, large radius bend here, which is much stronger. And this is 3 8 inch thick. I think it's 3 8 it might be eight inch. 3 16 This is 3 16 inch thick, which is uh, much thicker than the 8th inch or, yeah, 8th inch stuff that I have here. So that would be much stronger and uh, give me a much more solid platform to work with.
All right, so here it is cut and cool enough to handle. I will uh, I'm go test fit this in the car, take a Sharpie with me and make a couple of marks and we'll go from there. Let's get the death wheel out of the way. And so what I have here, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, hopefully you can, but I've got some Sharpie marks. Uh, basically I'm doing this inside line right here and I'm going to cut this, uh, this entire chunk that my finger is going along right now is going to go away and uh, going to shorten this up and probably shorten this down as well uh, after I get that chunk taken out. And instead of using the death wheel on that, I'm going to use the Sawzall because that will be a little safer and probably a little bit faster as well, uh, even with taking the extra time to take it out. So there it is. Uh, still needs to be dressed up, but I'm gonna go see how it fits right now. All right, it happens to fit great. I'm going to take a little bit more material off of both sides here. And Got my part here, I've got a new hole mark, or I guess it helps if I put this in the camera. I've got the part here, <clears throat> um, got a new location for a hole marked. So I'm going to set this in the vise. like a good cutting oil and a good sharp bit. Look at that. Hey, yeah, that fits. That fits wonderfully. All right, I'm gonna go see if this fits. All right, that fit wonderfully. So now I'm going to do the 
Same thing on the other side, only I do not need my half inch bit again. So this fits where I need it to go, which it does. Good. Let's see if it fits in there. Oh, look at that. It does. Glad I only went with a quarter inch. I'm just going to leave the camera outside the car for a second while I get this in place. the arm will attach to the upper hole right here and that should actually be fairly strong I guess we will see all right um, I can't really get to this uh, car right now but so how this is working it's got a little bit of bounce to it but uh, I think that'll be okay and then I can make my adjustments here as needed uh, if I need to store it, it'll just lay down right like that. And then I can slide the seat forward in case somebody needs to get into the back. And there's no interference at all. Okay, I guess there's a little bit of interference because it moved, but um, that's not the end of the world the the bracket itself the hard mount point uh does not interfere at all and then when i need to bring this up i can bring it up here and there will be a bracket for the platform to set on and i have full adjustability as long as that is unlocked so uh now on to building the platform for this and uh, the bracket. Here is the laptop that will be mounted in the car. What I'm going to do is take that and find a Sharpie. It's a very fast way to uh, smooth out a few rough edges on.
Wax paper will make sure that the uh, glue doesn't end up sticking to the uh, board underneath here. So that should do it for now. Um, step back into focus here. Um, I gotta let this dry for a little while. I am now going to work on uh, the design of using that plate wherever it went, this one here. All right, so basically what happens is um, with what is, what goes inside the vehicle, the, the mount that I already put in there, that will sit on, or this piece will sit on there right like this and then in the back here this plate with the uh, stub here goes in like this yep, right like that and then I tighten that screw down and that is what holds the laptop in place All right, now that fits perfectly in there. Lock that down nice and tight. And aside from the fact that this stand is a piece of garbage and really wobbly, it should actually not go anywhere. So I'm going to take this off. I'm going to test it in the car now. going to be awesome. So actually, I need to see where that going to sit. Right about like that. Uh, there we go. It does not at all get in the way of my shifter. And I can actually lower this down too if I do this. Will work. Fantastically, once I've got the, uh, once I have the wooden platform on here. So that's just about the perfect height for me to be able to drive. It's not gonna get in the way of my shifter I need at all for a limited time and yeah I think that's going to be a winner so here I had a massive 
audio fail. I forgot to turn the microphone on my camera on before I filmed this because I was in a bit of a rush. My wife was on her way to work and she, I needed her to take the car so I could do the next project that I am going to do. So you can see me adding screws and uh, I'm trimming off the ends of the screws because I didn't have any screws that were short enough. Took a little unconventional route and called that good. Um, what my ultimate plan is to um, fill that full of wood filler and, um, and sand it flat, that way it all looks pretty and that's going to be that. All right, well, I'm a colossal idiot and I forgot to turn the microphone on on the last set of clips, so you didn't get to see me make the rest of this. But basically this comes up, this attaches on here and will allow me to put my laptop on each time I drive. Lock that down, laptop goes there and that will be a winner.